And we're back here on Wave 3 Listens Live. I'm Michael Van over here with some very special guests from Strand Salon and people that are helping out Cuts for the Cure. I'm here with Stephanie Griffith, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the Cuts for the Cure and what's going on. Yes, it's this Friday, okay. May 20th. Very excited, and it's going to be held at 322 Vincent Street in New Albany in um, Strands and Threads parking lot. Um, this is our fourth year that we've hosted this. Very excited, and it's not only for people who get their head shaves and ponytails cut for locks for love, but we have many other items that you can do while you're there. Well, it's a great cause, and there's a lot of ways people can get involved if they don't want to get their head shaved. Right. Can you tell our viewers about some of the other options and some things that they can do? Yes, we do. We sell these t-shirts. This is similar to what we sewed last year, and what we do is on the back of it, we've had people donate um, different amounts for okay. the names to put in, in either memory of or in honor of. And then we also have a lot of um, silent auction items, and we brought this one only because of Cindy Sullivan. <laughs> Yeah, oh, perfect. <laughs> the gardening basket, um, and there's a beautiful necklace over here. All the bas baskets were donated by the stylists at Strands and Threads. They partnered up, and they did an awesome job coming together this year. And all the local businesses, I just want to thank them in advance because it, it's unbelievable the amount of items we have for this silent auction this year. Well, absolutely. And over here cutting the hair is Sarah. Sarah's been doing this for several years and helping out Locks of Love, is that correct? Yes, it is. And you enjoy it each and every year, right? Absolutely. It's a very fun time. We have a lot of fun. Um, the night of the event, it's very much fun. All right, and the noise you hear, there's somebody getting their hair shaved, and that's Andrea from Lafayette Township Fire Department. Andrea, what are the reasons you do something this great and obviously drastic? Uh, just to bring more awareness for cancer research. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people that are, have cancer. I've had a few relatives and close friends die from cancer, so I just want to bring more awareness. Well, I think everyone has had cancer touch uh, somebody that they love, you know, and, and it's it's mm -hmm. always tough. It never gets easier. And so the more and more things we see like this in the community, I think are the better. And I personally, I think she looks great with the, the buzz or with the hair. What do you think? I think it's awesome. And this is her third year that she has done this with us. That is impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if you want to get involved, I mean, you got to contact Stephanie. You can contact. There's so many different ways to get involved again. Um, and again, it's Friday. It's this Friday. Um, our website's www.cutsforacure.org. Okay, um, so you can go on there and download pledge forms or anything else. And and how many people typically do you have each year do this? Each year it's gradually, it Growing. seems like there's a little bit more. I think last year we had 27 ponytails, and I can't remember the amount that we shaved. How many do you think, Sarah? There was probably close to 30 some on oh, yes. over that. Yes. <laughs> Quite a few. She was outside okay. shaving the whole All time. Right, well, I was, yeah. Well, let's it goes grow quickly. that number this year. How about yes. that? All right, well, bring them in. Make sure you contact them. Uh, we appreciate you being with us. And after the break, Cindy will be taking your calls. For Wave 3 Listens Live, I'm Michael Vanover.